Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you all the glory. I just want to thank God tonight. Just bless him for his God. Father, we worship you. We exalt you. We magnify you. You are the Alpha. You are Omega. You are Lady of the Valley, Rock of Ages, Ancient of Days. Omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscience, God. We thank you for the opportunity to come into your presence this hour. It is not by power or by might, but it is by your spirit that we are here, O oh Lord. Have your way, O oh Lord. Have your way, Father. Have your way that your name will be glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We give you all the glory and adoration. We give you all the honor. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to thank God again for life. Thank God for health. Thank Him for prosperity. Thank Him for success. Thank Him for the things that have not happened in your life. Our expectations, the Bible says, shall not be cut short. Lord, we thank you for our expectations will never be cut short. We thank you for everything that you have allowed us to see, to hear, to understand. We thank you for prosperity. We thank you for advancement. We thank you for life. We thank you, O Lord, Father, for great power. We thank you for healing. We thank you for success. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor. Lord, let all glory and honor be ascribed unto the holy name. For you are glory, we worship you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are Alpha, you are Omega. You are Lily of the Valley, Red, Ancient of Days, Omnipotent, Omnipresent, Omniscience, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give you all the adoration. Have your way, O Lord. Have your way, Father, today. Have your way this hour. Those of you that are connected, God bless you. Lema ga shakara baba baba. Le brogo sikere baba li baga shikoro bobo bobo. Le maga santa raba baba li kanda raba baba shikere baba baba. Le brogo sikara baba li baga santa raba baba. In the name of Jesus Christ, we worship you, Lord. We are we adore you. We reference you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, if we say we have no sin, we make God to be a liar. Mm -hmm. And if we confess our sin, God is just to forgive us. I want us to stand in the presence of God and ask him to wash us from the crown of our head to the sole of our foot with the blood of Jesus. Let the blood that speak better things than the blood of Abel begin to speak in your life right now. Holy Spirit, the Bible, we bring ourselves unto you as a living sacrifice. May you look on us with your mercy. Have mercy and compassion upon us. We plead the blood upon this altar. We plead the blood upon this auditorium. We plead the blood upon this house, upon this vicinity and proximity. Let the blood become available. In the name of Jesus Christ, we ask that you look on us with your mercy. Don't let your anger not be kindled against us. Saturate and be with us. Cleanse us with the blood of Jesus Christ. For we are mortal men compassed with infirmity. May you never look on us through your anger, O oh Lord. But we ask that we find mercy in your sight. Let the angel of mercy be released right now. For we have done all these things in thy sight. We are not worthy to be called thy sons and daughters. But out of thy tender mercy, Holy Spirit, have mercy and compassion upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for we know that you have done it. We exalt we magnify you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. Today we are going to ask God to give us grace to hear the word and continue to pray. Because we, what we are doing today is work out. Uh, the, what we have is spiritual workout, daily workout. We work out in the presence of God for this hour, one hour. We give it to God every day, Monday to Friday. And God has been great. Because what we do is what will help us to win out there. Because we do this in the closet. We do it in the temple of God. We come and pray here. We energize. We, we uplift our spirit. Once we go out, things will become easy. The devil cannot stand in front of you when you have been with God. When you see a man, a woman, a person that have been in the presence of God, there is some aura that comes with that. 
So I know that we are preparing ourselves for winning out there, going out and conquering and taking back this city, this vicinity, this proximity, this area, this part of town, the city of Liverpool, the city of Duluth, Lawrenceville, Norcross, all the part of Gwinnett, Gracie, we are taking back Alvarata, we are taking back Jones Creek, we are taking back Doralville, we are taking back Roganville, Lebaga, Shakaraba, Bandakula, all the areas surrounding in this place. In the name of Jesus Christ. So I want you to ask God to give us a grace. Let the power of God come upon us right now. For the, that the words of our mouth and the measure of our heart shall be acceptable in the sight of God. Holy Spirit divine, we ask that the words of our mouth and the measure of our heart shall be acceptable, O Lord. Let the word that we speak not just be words of men, but let it be the word of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for today. We are going to have utterance. Lord, give us utterance to speak. Give us utterance to pray. Give us utterance. Give us utterance. Lord, we cannot do it without you. The Bible says we know not what to pray or ask. But the Spirit maketh intercession with groanings. Holy Spirit begin to make intercession for us. With groanings that can never be uttered. Make intercession in this house. Make intercession in our life. Make intercession in the life of our members, our family members, our brothers and sisters, our partners. Make intercession that the name of God shall be glorified. For the Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. We give you all the glory for doing it today. We thank you for it is done. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. You may be seated. God bless you. We are just going to get a word from God. Um, we are going to read the book of um, Exodus chapter 15. 1, 5. Exodus 15. If you, are, if you are joining us online, you can open your Bibles or write it down. The book of Exodus 15. We are reading from verse 22. Hallelujah. Exodus 15, 22. This is a story about the children of God. And it's also affect many of us as we go on our journey. Many of us have been walking on a path. And we have gotten to a place that we can't even have strength anymore. Because we don't have enough water. We don't have enough, enough strength to carry us to the next level. I, I want you to see in verse 22. The Bible said in Exodus 15, 22. So Moses brought Israel from the Red Sea. You know, they were celebrating. They have conquered. They have crossed the Red Sea. Then they went out into the wilderness of Shur, and they went three days in the wilderness and found no water. That is not something that is encouraging. For you to walk, to do business, to do something for three days, it can be three years, it can be ten years, it can, there is no water. There is nothing to sustain anymore. Everything they had, they have finished. The Bible says that they found no water in verse 23. Now when they came to Mara, they could not drink the water of Mara. For they were bitter. Therefore the name of it was called Mara. And the people complained against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? So he cried out to the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree. When he cut it, when he cast it into the water, the water was made sweet. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. He cried unto the Lord. That's what we're going to do here today. Many of us have gotten to that place where our water has finished. We need, a, we need to be refreshed. We need to be re-energized. Re we need to be reconciled. We need to be restored. We need to be renewed. So these people, they came. They, they just had a miracle. Crossing the rest was a big miracle. They were so happy. And they came to this place. For three days, they didn't find water. And when they found water, they were so happy. I, 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 I would begin to imagine what they are thinking when they saw that water. Many of them will say, thank God, we have found water. Water, God has finally come to bless us. But the water was not good. Have you been in a situation where something you are looking for so much, something you are uh, expecting, something you want to get, you, when you see it, it's not even that thing again. They saw water, but they couldn't drink it. The Bible said they could not drink the water because the water was bitter. Everything that looks like bitterness, when you saw it, it was good. Some of you have gone into a relationship and at the beginning, it looked so glamorous, it looked so awesome. The wedding was great. But when you get into the relationship, it becomes bitter. And something that you thought that would be a blessing to you is now becoming something like a cause. Some of you have gone into businesses and you have invested time. You were so energized, you were so excited when you were sold into the business. You did all the necessaries, get all the fundings, and you started. 
But now you discover that it was not what was told to you. And that big business is not yielding. Some of you have gone into ministry. God has called you, spoken to you in the dream. You have fasted, you have prayed. Men of God have prophesied upon your life. And you got in and you begin to see the persecution. It's like that miracle. It's not what it is. So they came to Mara. They saw water, but the water was not good. The water was bitter. Everything that brings bitter in your life today, by the unction and the power, in the name of Jesus Christ, it shall be made whole. Amen. And it shall be sweet again. Amen. It shall be sweet again. Amen. The joy that you saw, the expectation that you had when you got into that business, when you got into that ministry, when you got into that marriage, when you got into that job, you expected it to take care of you. You expected it to take care of your family. You expected it to, to be able to pay your bills. But now, you work so much and you don't even have enough to take care of yourself. And it's like the job is becoming a cost to you. Today, that matter shall be turned around Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And the Bible says something that Moses cried unto the Lord. We are just going to pray today. We will not pray the conventional way. We are going to cry unto the Lord. The Bible says the people complained to Moses, hallelujah. Amen. They told Moses, why did you bring us here? What shall we drink? Hallelujah. Many of us have complained to ourselves because we don't have anybody to complain to. How did I end up in this country? Why did I get into this job? Why did I get into this relationship? You are asking questions. The answers are coming to you. Because every time there is a question, there must be an answer, whether good or bad. Today, when these people ask, why shall, what shall we drink? Moses went to God. The Bible says, and so Moses cried. Hallelujah. Moses cried. Moses went and spoke to God. God, you cannot put me to shame. I cannot bring three million people out and I don't have water to give to them. This will be a disaster. Holy Spirit, do something. And as he was crying, the Bible said, God showed him a tree. Oh, come on. God showed him a tree that was there. Even though he, the tree was there, Moses did not see it. But when he cried, the solution to your problem is just by your side. God is going to show us solutions tonight. Mm -hmm. God is going to show us solutions right now. Mm -hmm. Wherever you are, we are going to pray. But the Bible says Moses cried. We are going to cry unto the Lord. We are going to groan unto God. We are going to mourn unto God. We are going to speak unto the Lord in any form or way. When you feel that time, if you want to lie down, you want to stand up, you want to run around, those of you at home, in any way you are going to get comfortable because when we pray this prayer, I want you to be in the prayer. Don't just pray because you want to pray. I want you to, your spirit, your soul, and your body to be part of this prayer because God is a God when you call him once. The Bible says he will answer seven times by the same unction and power. The Bible says God told Moses about the tree and Moses took the tree and cast into the water and the water was made sweet. Every bitter water, bitter relationship, bitter business, bitterness in your life shall be sweet again. Everything that has cost you pain, everything that has cost you whatever shall become sweet again by the same ocean of power in the name of Jesus Christ. Every bitterness, in the name of Jesus Christ. But I want us to go for it because all these things will happen in our life. The Bible said, then he made a statue, an ordinance for them, and then he tested it and he said, if you diligently heed to the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his sight, give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases, God is healing somebody now, none of these diseases on which I have brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. God said, I am God that heals you. I want you to see verse 20, 27 there. He said, then they came to Eli where there were 12 wells of water and seven palm trees. So they camped there by the waters. Not only did God make the water of Mara to be sweet, but after they left Mara and journeyed, there was a warning. God said, if you continue to do as I have commanded you, if you hearken to my voice, if you diligently serve me in truth and in spirit, every sickness that I have brought upon the Egyptians, every sickness that I have brought upon the unbelievers, every sickness that is found among the, the hidden shall not be among you. I will remove them in any form or way that you are sick in the body. Maybe you have been afflicted while you were in the wilderness. God is removing sicknesses now. In the name of Jesus, it doesn't matter whatever it is. High blood pressure, diabetes, is gone. In the name of Jesus, leukemia, cancer, 
Bring a new reason. Whatever it is, it's going right now by the unction and power in the name of Jesus, right? But you have to hack it. God said you will hack it. You will do diligently. You will serve me. But I will remove all these things from you. And God took them now to another place that they have seven wells. Come on. No, not seven. Twelve wells. And there were palm trees there. Seventy palm trees and twelve wells. I'm telling you today by your unction and the authority and the power in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not die in your manner. You will not die in your wilderness. God is going to take you to a wedding place. Moses, David said this. He said, you have allowed men to ride over our head, but you have brought us onto a wedding place. I don't care what has happened in your life in the past, what people have done to you. If you can hold on, like God told Moses to tell you, if you can hold on to God, hack him onto his word, serve him in truth and in spirit, you will see that you will come to a wealthy place. You will come to a place that you don't have to go and dig again. The well is prepared. When they saw these 12 wells, water was already there. It was a good water. And the Bible said they had 70 palm trees. This was, this was a revelation. Remember that Moses had to have, later he had 70 elders. And he had 12 people that are close to him. The same thing happened to Jesus Christ. When Jesus came, he called 12. To himself and they have 70 disciples. That was the revelation God gave them. This is going to be the formation of the leadership of Israel. Hallelujah. You will always have help. You will never lack people in your life. As you are watching me, you will always have somebody that will stand with you. Yeah. Moses was doing it alone before. But at the time, God had to lead him to a place where Jethro spoke to him. And he selected people and prayed for them. And the spirit of God that was on him transferred into these people. That is a message for another day. But I'm telling you that you, you will come to a place whereby you will never lack help again in life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't care what wilderness that you are walking through now. I don't care what desert that you have gone through. But God is taking you out. Every bitterness, every bitterness, every bitterness, every bitterness. Is getting away right now because the water in your life is getting sweet again. That relationship that have gone south is being mended, is being repaired. You are not going to divorce. You will not divorce your husband or your wife by the unction and the power. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is still going to be something that you find in him or her that will keep you. The Bible says, strengthen that which remains. It might be just the way he smiles, the way he talks. It might just be one little thing that is left. That is where God will start to build that relationship again. It will come on that job that you are about to quit on. It will come on, you are not leaving that job. If God has provided that job for you, God will sustain you in that job. It will come on, it might just be one little thing that is left that keeps you in that job. That is a building block. That is what God will use to sustain you until he brings you to a place of 12 wells where you will have abundance. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. You might be in a business, you're about to sell everything and back up. And just say, I'm throwing in the white towel, I'm flinging and going away. Come on, you are not leaving. Because God is about to elevate you now. If there is anything left in that business, that is what God will use. Because God always works with remnants. There's always going to be something left. It might be little, it might not be significant in your life. But it doesn't matter. That little water that they saw in Mara became what sustained more than 3 million people, by the unction and the power, in the name of Jesus Christ, God will begin to sustain you now. Let us pray. Hallelujah. I want you to come against today. We are going to pray against every spirit of man. Something that looks like what you are looking for. When you get there, that thing is not what you want becomes bitter. It becomes antagonistic against your life. It becomes something that you don't want to have. Every spirit of man that does not look good, that look like something you want, that look like a place you can get succor, a place you can get help and you get there, it becomes a place that will cause you pain. Every spirit of man by the unction and the power in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ Every spirit of matter will come against you by the unction and the power. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatsoever bitterness that the devil has sprung out of your life, 
is by being in your health. You used to be somebody that is very healthy, energetic. You are somebody that used to do things for yourself. But now the devil has hit you below the belt and you are sick. And many times people that will help you, they are not always available. So you are always in a very stressful mood trying to help yourself. Today, God is sending you help. That illness, that sickness, whatsoever it is, is it in the bloodline? Is it from your family? Is it from the things you have done in the past? By the unction and the power in the name of Jesus Christ, we break it today. We cast it out. We take it away by the power and the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. Every bitterness in life, every pain that the devil has caused because of the situation where you are. La makakoro be chekere baba baba. La praga santa na baba baba. Le progo sikere ba li kanda na baba baba. La baga shakara baba. By the unction and the power. By the authority. In the name of Jesus Christ. We break. You lose out of it now. Go and shine. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to read somewhere again. And we are going to pray. Because God is about to bless somebody. Blessing is in the house. Hallelujah. Great blessing. Not just any blessing. Great blessing. Something that you will have a memorial about. You will remember it for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. Many of you, what God is going to keep, what God will do for you will be something that will, your children and children, children will sustain. They will carry. It's going to be a memorial in your family. Second Kings chapter 2. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to see this situation. The children of God, the people of God, the devil is not tired. But we are going to keep him running around because he cannot win in your life. He cannot win in your ministry. He cannot win in your family. He cannot win in your business. Second Kings chapter 2. Hallelujah. And look at verse 19. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible said, then the men of the city said to Elisha, they came to the man of God, Elisha. He said, please, notice the situation in this city is pleasant as the Lord sees, but the water is bad and the ground is barren. I don't know if this is your situation. They came to the man of God say, the city is beautiful. The city is well situated. The, 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 the weather, the vegetation, everything about it is pleasant. But what will keep us staying here is the water. If you have bad water, your animals cannot drink, your crops cannot grow well, things will not work well, it will not sustain your life. So they say this, the situation of the city, as you know, so that means Elijah was also in that city. He said, but the water is bad and the ground is barren. And he, and he said, bring me a new bowl and put salt in it. So they brought it to him. Then he went out in the source of the water and cast the salt there and said, thus says the Lord, I have healed this water from it. From it there shall be no more death or barrenness. So the water remained healed to this day, according to the word of Elisha, which he spoke. Every barrenness, barren water, barren land, land that they will not produce for you. It looks beautiful, and you, you will invest in that land, and the land will not produce. Because the land is barren. Every cause in any land, ancestral causes, familiar spirit, that the devil has brought up in your family. You come to a place, you are somebody that looks like a millionaire, but you don't have a dime. You know, the devil will set you up for failure. And you come, people are asking things from you. People are looking at you as somebody that they can get help from. Because you look fertile, but you are barren. We are going to come against everything that will cause the land not to produce. This land of Lebanon, the land of Georgia, the land of Gwinnett County, we cause this land to begin to break forth. We cause this land to begin to break forth by the unction and the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power on this land, Lebanon, Shakara, Baba, Baba, Yemaga, Sokoro, Bole, Kereba, Shatara, Baba, Baba, La Brigo, Sikoro, Bole, Kandara, Baba, Shatara, Baba, Baba. We give you all the glory and adoration. Hakareba, Shatara, Baba, Lepoko, Sitere, Baba, Baba, Yamama, Baba, Baba. Every barren land that you have been upon, those of you that are watching me, any land that you are standing that is not producing for you by the unction and the power. In the name of Jesus, I cause that land to produce. I speak in the spirit and I take the power and the salt and I cast it in that land. That land will begin to produce. 
It shall begin to produce life. It will begin to produce prosperity. It will begin to produce healing. It will begin to produce advancement, success. It will begin to produce businesses. It will begin to produce productivity that will cause a great economy. Baba Nikorobo Shekere Baba La Mama Sentara Baba Nikorobo Shekere Baba I say that land, every land you are standing upon, every land that you are, the Bible says the earth is of the Lord and the fullness thereof and they that dwell upon it, the world itself and they that dwell upon it. Today, I stand on the word of God in Psalm 24 of the earth being of God. Every part of this earth that God has created, that the devil has tampered with the land, tampered with the water, that will sustain your life. Every water, it might be the bank, could not give you money. You have a good business idea, but you cannot get funding because the water is bad. Every bad water, by the unction and the power, in the name of Jesus Christ, you have a great project. You know what you want to do, but nobody wants to lend you money. Nobody wants to borrow you money. Nobody wants to join hand with you in business. Today, we cause that barrenness. We cause that negativity. By the same unction and the power, in the name of Jesus Christ, that land shall begin to produce. Your land will begin to produce. I cause this land of Georgia to produce for us, produce for you. Those of you that are watching me, those of you that are in America, North America, South America, wherever you are in this continent, this continent shall bring forth for you. The ocean, both Pacific and Atlantic, they will bring forth your goods. Everything that you need will come to you. Those of you in Europe, I pray by the unction and the power, let the land of Europe, from the Eastern Europe to the Western Europe, to the North and to the South, they start to bring forth for you. In Middle is the same thing. Let the land begin to produce. It doesn't matter whether it's a desert land or if Dubai can be the nice as it is today. Every land that is dry will begin to bring forth. In the name of Jesus, Israel has the best food in the world. It's a dry land, but they export food more than nations that have oil. Today, I cost every land that you are standing upon in Africa, between from Cairo to Cape Town, I begin to cause the land of Africa to produce, to release the blessings of the children of God. Your water shall not be bad, but it shall be a sweet water. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cause the land of the Asians, the oriental lands, it shall begin to produce today by the unction and the power on this altar. I begin to pull nations out. Australia, we begin to call upon you. New Zealand, every land that is barren, I curse you by the unction and the power in the name of Jesus to bring forth to the children of God. Bring forth to the children of God. I say, receive your blessings, receive your funding, receive your resources, receive your help, receive whatever you need to receive. Today, the land shall not be barren anymore. The Bible says the man of God spoke unto the land. And Elisha said, For the Lord has. Where are we? He said, bring me a new boil and put salt in it. So they brought it to him. Then he went out ma, 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 to the source of the water. Then he went out to the source of the water and said, Thus says the Lord, I have healed this water. I come out from from it, from it, there was, there shall be no more death or barrenness. I said, from this hour, from this moment, your land has been healed. Amen. Your water has been healed. Amen. Your business has been healed. Amen. Your finances have been healed. Amen. Your account has been healed. Amen. Your marriages have been healed. Amen. Your ministry is healed. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. your body has been healed. Amen. There shall be no more barrenness. Amen. There shall be no more Death also. Amen. Every untimely death Amen. we cause to die. Amen. We cause it today. Amen. You shall live up to the time of your of your agreement with the Lord. Amen. You shall live up to what God has designed for you. Amen. Nothing shall cut you short. Not even sickness Amen. should cut you short on earth. Every sickness of the Egyptians we cast out of your family. Amen. We take away every untimely death of diabetes, high blood pressure. Amen. We come against every spirit of stroke. Amen. By the ocean, Alzheimer, we break you and take you out. Cancer, mm -hmm. every cancerous cell in the body. Today, I say we heal that body mm -hmm. by the ocean and the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. 
I want you to give thanks to God. Father, we thank you for it is done. We thank you today. We thank you. We bless you. We give you all the glory and adoration. If you have a desire, keep on pushing. Do not retire because God will always bring answers to your prayers. God will never leave his own to suffer. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for this day. I thank you for what you have done. I thank you today. I bless you from this altar. I speak to your sons and daughters. Let the blessings of God be with them. Let the face of the God begin to shine upon their life. You shall be the head and not the tail. You shall be above and not be later. The Lord shall make his face to shine upon you. They bring a shatter about. You shall be blessed when you go out and when you come in. By the same function and power. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I will give you all the glory and adoration. We are coming back tomorrow. By this time. Don't change the dial. Join us tomorrow. If you are in Georgia, in Atlanta, come to 465 Pleasant Hill Road, Melbourne, Georgia. Suit 106. The zip code is 30047. God bless you and have a wonderful week ahead of you. We are coming back tomorrow in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.